Hello guys, in this video demonstrate of Laravel 10 REST API with Passport. You can see Laravel 10 Passport API tutorial. We will look at an example of Laravel 10 REST API authentication. This example will help you Laravel 10 Passport OT2 example. So let's follow a few steps to create an example of Laravel 10 Passport authentication. REST API must be used when uh, you are working with a mobile application. When your application is preferred for web apps and mobile apps, uh, then you must have to create an API for your mobile development. However, Laravel provides an easy way to create API. If you have authentication in your mobile app, then you can easily do it uh, using a password. Laravel 10 Passport provides a way to create out token for validating user. If uh, you also want to create a REST API for your mobile application, then you can follow this tutorial uh, for uh, how to create a REST API step by step with Laravel 10. This is optional. However, if uh, you have not created the Laravel app, then you may go ahead and uh, execute this command. Composer create project uh, Laravel Laravel Passport app. After installation the Laravel 10, uh, go to the project CD Passport app and install the Passport package. In this step, we need to install Passport uh, via Composer Package Management. Composer requires Laravel Passport. After successfully install package, we require to the to get defined migration for create new password tables in our database. So let's run. We'll go to the PHP Storm and the project folder uh, and change the env file. Uh, DB database change to passport. And in the PHMI admin, create new database named Passport, like this, and run this command. PHP Artisan, migrate. All tables we need uh, creating in the Passport database, out tables and user tables. After that, we need to install Passport with this command. Uh, PHP Artisan Passport install. With this command uh, in the out clients, we have two uh, roles like this client one, client two. After that, we need to uh, configuration the passport. In the user model, we change, we have to change. Uh, has API token placement from Centcom to Laravel passport. And after that, in the config folder, and uh, outs.php file we need to add an array to the guards section uh, like the web we have to copy in this and change web to api and driver to passport
After this section, uh, we want to add product table and model for this application. With this command, which we are to make model product dash m for create migration uh, with this. So, in the project database uh, migration folder, uh, we want to see our migration for this table, name product. Uh, our product table, two columns, have two, col two columns, uh, name and details. Type a string and text. After adding this comment, run PHP Artisan migrate to create this table in our HMI admin database. Database passport and product we have to see. See the table named ID, name, title, created at and updated at columns. Some changes in uh, our model after create product table. Uh, Fillable is in the fillable of the uh, product table is name and details. After that, we need to create route API. We will create API routes. Laravel product provide API.php file for write web service route. So let's add a new route on that file. Register with method post, login with method post, and uh, our uh, REST API with products uh, with uh, auto API with passport for authentication. After that, we need to create controller file. We have created now controller as a controller and product controller and register controller. Our controller file is already created, but the product and register controller uh, will be created in the API folder. Write some code and copy this uh, in the these controllers. After creating controllers, we need to sign this controller in here and use it. In the register controller, we have two functions. Register function, return JSON response with a validator. Eliminate facade validator function and uh, request all get and validator in the name, email, password, and see underlying password for confirm password. If a validator fails, return validation error and this error. And uh, if not fails, continue and uh, request also into input and be crypt password and create user with this command user.create and create token a response success with token and name. Uh, in another function, we have a login function with a response JSON. If email and password is correct, a user a login uh, action set and uh, create token or response and response token with name. The otherwise, 
uh, response unauthorized error. In the product controller, uh, we have uh, five functions with name index for get all of products and uh, with product resource based. We need to create product resource next steps and a store functions for inserting a new product to the table with the validator check and if uh, all validator is passed create uh, product to table another function is a show function with id this function show uh, one product by id And after that, uh, update function for edit one product from the table. After validation check, update product name or details and save product. And the last function is destroy function for delete a product. Send response or send or function in is in the base controller or ham or controller function. Send response uh, and send or like this. In the step 7, create eloquent API resource. This is a very important step of creating REST API in Laravel 10. You can use eloquent API resource with API. It will help you to make same response layout of your model object. We used in a product controller file and uh, use it in the product controller. And change product resource like this. We can uh, everything change and return, like created that and updated that. Finally, we run the app. With command which we are designed to serve. And we will check our APIs in the postman register api slash register with method post for creating user or register user name email password and c underline password send it and create user with a token this token is created by passport this is uh, user, we will create it. Login API. API slash login with method post, email, and password send it.
return response success true and uh, data token with a passport token. This method uh, get all products. You will see uh, error for authentication, uh, authorization, bearer token and token copy and paste uh, that for the uh, get all products with authorization. And you will see no data uh, in the table products. Table products is MPT. Another API, API products with method post for uh, create or store a new product in the table. Copy and paste this token here and call function with the authorization bearer token. Name ASUS, Vivo Blockchain details, uh, CPU Core 7 and other. Success true, data ID 1, name ASUS, Vivo Block. And in the product table, we see a new product. Change the data and create a new uh, product in the table. With ID2 created in the our tables. And in the method for get all products, we will see two products in here. For uh, get a product with ID1, copy paste token here and uh, get product with ID1. API slash product slash one. For update uh, a product with method put uh, API slash product slash one and update name to Lenovo 780 and update it to name 780 and we can see the between my admin table ID1 Lenovo 780 and for the delayed a product with ID2 use authorization bearer token and copy paste token here like in the header authorization bearer space and token send and success this means product deleted successfully and refresh this table, we will delete product ID2. I hope it can help you to use password authentication for REST API in Laravel.